All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be watching Avengers Age of Ultron. That's the next movie in our MCU journey. Now, we just watched Guardians of the Galaxy, and according to this website, in order to watch it in release order, that is the next movie. So, and then after Age of Ultron, we have Ant-Man. So, can't wait for Ant-Man. Um, God damn, focus. But the last movie we watched, yeah, was Guardians of the Galaxy. And that one kind of explained the Power Stone a little bit and like what it can do. Basically, you take it, like pretend this is the stone or something, you touch it to the ground, boom, planet gone. It's a pretty powerful stone, honestly. Like, that's a pretty OD stone. And when like a, you know, just like a regular person grabbed it, it just, like when, um, that one lady, the purple lady who works for the dude with the white hair, she tried this take it and it just completely evaporated her and destroyed their entire like room they're in or something so and like you have to be pretty powerful to in order to wield it and just hold it you know like ronin was able to hold it pretty fine so but, 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 uh, but that's because he's a lot more powerful than just a person just a normal person and quill had it at the end too and it didn't kill him either but it was like destroying him but it didn't kill him so okay for age of ultron i'll be completely honest i'm not going in this in this movie completely blind i have seen bits of it not a lot but it's like it was like one of those movies where that was just like playing at the background when you're hanging out with your friends you know what i mean so like as i'm hanging out with my friends it's like on the tv to the side i'm just like oh that's cool so i've seen a couple clip i've seen a couple things from it but i never sat down and watched it all the way through so that's what we're doing today so yeah i'm gonna stop wasting time and we're just gonna hop right into this movie if you want to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well early access to the next two mcu movies should be on patreon but yeah so let's watch it so let's start this movie Look what I found. I found one of these old ones I have. I got this in LA like two years ago, so this is gonna help me sing up the audio later. Action. Okay, cool. Give you guys some nice little ASMR when I open this. Yeah, it doesn't taste that good. Okay. Anyways. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, wait, what? I gotta read. What? What happened to my mic? Okay, never mind. All right, well, that didn't work, so take two, I guess. Okay. Well, anyways, my mic just disconnected, like, super randomly. Okay, I gotta make sure this mic is not in focus, and I am. So, okay. We are under attack. Okay. Oh, let's fucking go. Avengers pulled up. Damn, has this been one continuous shot? Okay. Okay. That's fucking sick. I think this has been one continuous shot since, like, they showed them so far. Damn. Shit! Language! Oh. Jarvis, what's the view from upstairs? The Cap would, Cap, Cap would point that out. He's that type of guy. He's, he's just that honest. He's never cussed once in his life. Oh, there's my girlfriend. Oh, my God. Wait a second. No one else is going to deal with the fact that Cap just said language? I know. And Tony is that type of guy to point that out. Whoa. We'll just car wheel that fucking motorcycle. Holy the shit. Avengers. You know what? Can we hold them? If they're I had a command Avengers. team, if I would deploy the rest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're the Avengers. The weak if I was him and my people, my boy was like, bro, they're the Avengers. I'm gonna be like, you know what? Not even bad. I totally get it. Between the verge of all greatest breakthrough. In okay, and these were the two. Um, that was that's Wanda. The and okay, the twins. Yeah, they were at the end of uh, Guardians. Or Captain America. No, it was the Captain America end credit scene. Okay, let's see what they can do. Under what we've been the twins. They are not ready to take our No no, I mean 
twins. Oh, they're gone. They want the smoke. They're gone. All right, so we got do super speed. Okay, I don't know his name, but I know Wanda's name. So until we get his name, I'm gonna call him Cosmo. So yeah, Cosmo just fucked up Hawkeye. I still haven't. Clint's hit pretty bad, guys. We're gonna need evac. So I can get bogged. Nah, we're not, we're not. We're not going back. No, we're not evacuating. All right, fucking shockwave. And for gosh sake, watch your life. Okay, yeah, so they're trying to get the scepter back. Pretty sure that's what Loki had in the Avengers movie where he like taps their heart, like taps you on the chest, and then you know, you just you're a slave to him now. Stop, we gotta talk this through. Nice. Good talk. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I like how he didn't kill any of them. He just Oh, he just shot them all like the knees or something. Mode. Oh, that's sick. Okay, Jarvis. Okay, so I guess they don't need the Hulk anymore. So they sent her over to go like de Hulk him or whatever. Like, hey, we need Bruce back. And yeah, she kind of has to do that. Like, give him the lullaby, like they said. It's kind of, dude, that's kind of annoying, honestly. If you have to do that to get Bruce back, then it's like you can only really save the Hulk for like missions like this. You know, you can't just bring him in whenever it would be most convenient. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, you can only save him for like the. The big missions, then, because if it's that much of a pain in the ass to get him back. Thor, I got eyes on the prize. No, you don't. Damn, she saw all that shit too, and she was even like, holy shit. Like, nah, that this was fucked up. Like, don't, no, I feel too bad. Don't do anything. <laughs> all right. Whoa, that was a great opening scene. Okay, why'd they let him just take the scepter, though? How long before you trust me? It's himself. He doesn't, he doesn't trust the Hulk, maybe. Okay, so it kind of seems like when Bruce is the Hulk, Bruce isn't conscious, but the Hulk is. So it's like, Bruce has no idea what's really fucking happening. Like, the Hulk is its own personality. And, yeah, he has no control over himself when he's the Hulk. So, I did see the very original Hulk movie, the one from, like, 2003. And the one with, um... The other actor, I don't know his name, but pretty sure it's canon in the MCU. But I did see those when, like, I was like a lot younger. So. Set up, boss. Oh, actually, he's the boss. I just pay for everything and design everything and make everyone look cooler. What's the word on Strucker? Native. That's true. Orphaned at ten when a shell collapsed their apartment building. Okay, Wanda and Pietro. Seeing telekinesis, mental manipulation. He's fast and she's weird. Well, they're going to show up again. They said that for people like me. Volunteered for Strucker's experiments. It's nuts. Right. Damn, I like this. I like this Captain America suit. You know, I don't think her brother, Pietro, was in Infinity War or Endgame. Cause I don't remember him in either of those. So... How's he doing? Damn, that was a that was a cool transition to the glass. Ciphering code. You sure he's gonna be okay? Pretending to need this guy really brings the team together. There's no possibility of deterioration. <laughs> the nanomolecular functionality. Yeah, they just pretend they need him. <laughs> that's dude. That's a shot at his character. Just how fucking worthless he kind of is. But I feel like he did. I feel like he does do a lot. But 
you'd think he would be you'd think he'd be worthless kind of but he's he actually he contributes a good amount unlike you i don't have a lot of time for parties well thor you do <laughs> why, why do you want to know that huh he runs more of the business than anyone besides pepper mm -hmm. top of the line yes damn I suspect not for long. get everything automated <laughs> What if next time aliens roll up to the club, and they will, they couldn't get past the bouncer? The only people threatening the planet would be people. Mm-hmm. But aliens exist now. They know that. Give me three days. So you're going for artificial intelligence, and you don't want to tell the team. Right. Dude, Cap would veto that immediately, so he can't know. I've seen colder. This one, this very vulnerable blue one. Needs okay, so Tony wants to time. harness this power to create a bouncer for the world when aliens pull up again. Okay. Dude, these movies make it really easy to fucking follow what's going on. It's not like Game of Thrones where like I've no I'm on season three and I have no idea what's happening. I'm just kidding, I do. I have a better idea now. <laughs> Too much. They hit me. Oh, no. You are in distress. No. He just looked up like all of human history. <laughs> all right, so Ultron just fucking killed Jarvis, I guess. He just took out Jarvis. So Ultron just looked up everyone. All the Avengers, Tony, and he's hostile now. All right, sick. So I'm guessing Ultron's the bad guy in this movie. Hey, what about Jane? Where are the ladies, gentlemen? Oh, Miss Potts has a company to run. So I'm not even sure what country Jane's in. Yeah, where is she? The um, uh, uh, Nobel Prize. Yeah, they they must be busy because they'd hate missing you guys get together. Mm-hmm. Testosterone. Oh yeah, fucking dick measuring contest right there. But Jane's better. No. Sounds like. I mean, it is Natalie Portman, so like, it, it is Padme Amidala, so. This fleet is not meant for mortal men. Neither was Omaha Beach, Blondie. Stop trying to scare us. Come on. All right. Oh, is he giving him that fucking Asgardian oh, alcohol? Yeah. <laughs> that, that dude in the back was just like this. He was just stuck. He glitched out. Because he knows he'll win. Sounds amazing. He's also a huge dork. Chicks dig that. So what do you I think they do, honestly. I really think they do. Run with it, right? Or did he was he what did he do that was so wrong to you? Not a damn thing. Yeah, and that's the problem. Look, as maybe the world's leading authority on waiting too long. Yeah. I deserve a win. I am in cap situation in that yeah, regard. Oh yeah, yeah. Bruce is like, well, what do you mean? Did you fuck her? But don't wait too long, guys. If you know she likes you and you know you like her. Tell her, don't wait. There's no point to wait. If you know you like her and she knows, no, no, no. You know you like her and you know she likes you, like you're confident, do it. Smell the silent judgment. Please, Stark, by all means. Tony's not worthy. Fuck no, he's not. No chance. Be right back. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Are you even pulling? Are you on my team? Just represent, pull. All right, let's go. No, ch no chance. The whole he couldn't even lift it as a Hulk. I remember that in the Avengers. He, yeah. Uh -huh. Go, Steve. No pressure. Oh, dude, Cap, Cap could probably do it. Cap is 100% worthy. Cap. I mean, he moved it. But okay, I already. 
Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I've seen Endgame, so I know you. I know he lives in an Endgame, but but even if I hadn't seen Endgame, I would still think he's worthy, hundred percent. And he did move it a little bit there. Maybe he realized, oh fuck, I can actually pick this up. I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, because I don't want to, I don't want to embarrass Thor, because he was so confident. Because he's just that good. He, that's what makes Cap worthy. Cap, Cap knows he could do it, and he's like, you know what? I don't want to embarrass my friends or Thor, so I'm just not gonna do it. Worthy. What the fuck? Strings had to kill the other guy. <laughs> yeah, you killed Jarvis. But I'm ready. I'm on mission. What mission? Peace in our time. Oh, fuck us. Kiss, 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 kiss. Don't turn green. Oh, yeah, don't do not turn green right now. Yeah. Not not in this building. <laughs> We are here to help. One sec. One sec. We are here. Oh, he's just gonna turn it off. Oh. Yeah, that shield sliced them robot. The Avengers extinction. Yeah. All right. There are no strings on me. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say he's an AI, so it doesn't matter if you destroy the body he's hosting. <laughs> He's an AI. He's literally just going to... It's a database, you know? You got to destroy the database. Not the body he's hosting. So it's like you destroy the body. Well, guess what? He'll go... He'll find a different body. So... But okay, so Ultron... He wants to take out the Avengers. The Sign Avengers Extinction. Oh, yeah. Nuclear Codes is... Uh, he's an AI. Probably a very smart AI. He could, he could turn the nukes on. Nukes on immediately. There wasn't anyone else in the building. Yes, there was. R.I.P. Jar R.I.P. Jarvis. He would have shut Ultron down. It makes sense. No. Yeah. Ultron could have assimilated mm -hmm. Jarvis. This isn't strategy. This is rage. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. What's going around? Come on, use your words, buddy. I have more <laughs> than enough words to describe you, Stark. Thor, the Legionnaire. <sighs> Trail went cold about a hundred miles out, but it's headed north, and it has the scepter. Now we have to retrieve it again. Genie's out. Bruh. <laughs> Ultron got the scepter. All right, rip. Why is it trying to kill us? <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't build the program, wasn't it? Already, it's on. Oh, he kind of did. He built the program and then he powered it with the scepter. Okay. I think. You just roll over, show your belly every time somebody snarls. Only when I've created a murder bomb. No, that's what Nala does. We weren't even close. Were we close to an interface? Well, you did something right. And you did it right here. The Avengers were supposed to be different than she. Anybody remember when I carried a nuke through a wormhole? No, it's never come up. Save no. New York? Never heard that. Recall that? No, I don't remember at all. What are you talking about? That's the end game. How are you guys planning on the game? Endgame. Together. To protect the world. That's the end game. All right. We'll lose. And we'll do that together, too. Ooh. Yeah, but you still lose. <laughs> Sooner or later, every man shows himself. Oh, I'm sure they do. Whoa, buddy, got a fat fucking upgrade. Everyone creates the thing okay. they dread. Men of peace create engines of war. Invaders create Avengers. People create design to supplant them to help them end. I mean, he he's not wrong. <laughs> and the Avengers. I've come to save the world. But also, yeah. Okay, so Ultron's trying to save the world by taking out the Avengers. I guess... I don't really see his side. Oh, he sees the Avengers as a bad thing, so. Sits there in the rubble. Three feet from our faces. Wow. And on the side of the shell. It's painted one word. Stark. Yeah, I had a feeling that's what they were going to say. 
We wait for two days for Tony Stark to kill us. Damn, so okay, I see why they hate Tony. I wondered why only you two survived Strucker's experiments. Yeah, why? Now I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> we will make it right. You and I can hurt them. Oh, he doesn't wonder anymore. I guess they just have that grit. You know, just super high motor like Cap. So yeah, since Ultron can just see everyone's record since he's an AI, he literally knows everything about everyone. And if he, he meets, like if he met me, in one second, he could find out everything I've ever, he could see everything I've ever posted online in one second. He could watch all my videos, probably just scrub through all of them, you know, and process it all in like five seconds. Oh, he fucking killed Strucker. All right, I think, I think that's what that was. That went by pretty fast. Don't scream. Why send a message when you've just given a speech? Strucker knew something that Ultron wanted us to miss. I bet he, yeah. Everything we had on Strucker's been erased. Yeah, couldn't Ultron just literally access Tony's computers and just delete everything he's ever, you know, file put in files? I mean, they delete all Strucker's files. He did. This, uh, it's a tattoo. I don't think he had it. Oh, those are tattoos. This is a brand. Oh, yeah. It's a word in an African dialect meaning thief in a much less friendly way. What dialect? Wakanda, wa, 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 Wakanda. <laughs> Shout out Wakanda, R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. What comes out of Wakanda? The strongest metal on earth. Where is this guy now? All right, that's what. Yeah, that's what the shield is made of. The strongest metal on earth. It's vibranium. I know that. Yeah, okay, is it? Damn, he fucking unloaded the gun and put all the bullets down. Okay, dude. OP, no, no, okay. Super speed has to be the most OP superpower ever. Like, I think that's the, I, if I could choose a superpower, I would choose super speed. How are you gonna ever beat super speed? You're literally too fast. Not that afraid. Everybody's afraid of something. Cuttlefish. <laughs> what? Deep sea fish, they make lights, disco lights, <laughs> to hypnotize their prey. Oh, like that shit from fucking Finding Nemo? I saw a documentary, it was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, she was pretty scary in Finding Nemo when I was like five. Oh, fuck. There is no man in charge. Equality. Now, so are you. <laughs> it's all yeah. under your dummy holdings. This finance is so weird. Yeah, he he literally just transferred we'll billions of dollars. Your friends rich and your enemies rich and wait to find out which is which. That's a hard ass line. That that line was hard as fuck. What? Tony Stark used to say that. To me. <laughs> You're one of his. What? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Do I look like Iron Man Stark? Yeah. <laughs> Bruh, he just cut his fucking arm off. Hey, I'm sorry. It's just I don't understand. Don't compare me with Stark. Uh, uh, Bruh. A thing with me. Stark is, he's a sickness. Oh, Bro, he has an ego. How does he have an ego? He's literally a Terminator. Oh, okay, Avengers are here. It's what, comfortable? Like old times? This was never my life. Mm -hmm. You two can still walk away from this. No, we will. I know you've suffered. Yeah, they. I mean, I I get their hatred for Stark. I totally get it. Kind of wiped out their fucking city. If you believe in peace, then let us keep it. Yeah. I think you're confusing peace with quiet. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the vibranium? Yep. Yeah. See, look how OP that super speed is, bro. Yeah, and he, he can't pick it up, so that just throws momentum off. How, dude? Wouldn't that like? technically move all the organs in his body if he's moving super fast this way and then he grabs the hammer and goes that way like the g-force in that wouldn't that kill him technically i don't know well i mean i guess the momentum of him running super fast and stopping he he can like deal with that that i don't know is this a code green uh yes <laughs> Ultron upgraded big time. Ultron's literally 
Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator right now. <laughs> like, but times two. Okay, what what's Thor? What's what's Thor afraid of? Mine. Take special care. I doubt a human can keep her at bay. Fortunately, I am mighty. And no, you're not. <laughs> I've done the whole mind control thing. Not a fan. She's <laughs> I, I, okay. I feel like they didn't mind control him just so he could say that. Hey, you better run. Yeah. He's ever standing. Gotta move. Guys? Oh, is she getting Natasha too? Oh, I guess she did. Okay, what, what's Natasha afraid of? Ballerinas? The war's over, Steve. We can go home. Imagine it. Yeah, Steve just wants that dance with Peggy. And, yeah, he feels guilt for not being able to give her that. Uh, the vibranium's getting away. And you're not going anywhere. Yeah, fuck the of course vibranium. Not. I'm already there. You'll catch on. But first, you might need to catch Dr. Banner. Yeah, Ultron can just literally find a new body, like, at any given second. So, and I guess, yeah, Wanda got fucking... God damn it, he got... She got Hulk. The whole team is down. Yeah. He got no backup here. I'm calling him Veronica. Who's Veronica? All right, so Hulk's just gonna sack this entire city. He's just going ape shit. Like this is literally equivalent to giving Hulk fucking crack. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, yeah, that cage is not gonna hold him. He's just gonna go underneath. Unless there's a bottom to that, that's not holding. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, there's no bottom. Oh, shit. All right, everybody, stand down. Dude, he has like a mega suit. Like a suit for his suit. You listen to me? That little witch is messing with your mind. You're stronger than her. You're smarter than her. Uh -huh. You're Bruce Banner. Yeah. Right, right, right. Don't mention puny Banner. Oh, yeah. He's, in, he's a little insecure about that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, bro, yeah, he probably needs to, he probably made the suit the to keep back. up with the Hulk. Dick move, Banner. <laughs> That's fucking sick, how it just turns around and gets him. <laughs> and he has backup parts. <laughs> smart, very smart, Tony. <laughs> Damn, that was a shock wave there, two fists. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. Oh. Okay, yeah, lock his arm. Yeah. Okay, Lord, power, gonna yes. get you out of town. Damage report. Wait, wasn't this a suit that he was wearing in uh, Infinity War? That Bruce was wearing in Infinity War? It looks like the same suit. Bro. Okay, all clear. How quickly can we buy this building? <laughs> Bro. Tony literally just bought the building immediately just to do this. That was a necessary buy, just so you could do that.
dude, I swear to God. But yeah, and he's not, yeah, he's still good to go a couple more rounds after all that. After an entire building just collapsed on him. It looked like right there he was having like a realization moment of like, oh shit, I'm being an asshole right now with all these people. Oh, okay, he's back as Bruce. Looked like the Hulk was having that moment right there. And then he just snaked the fuck out of him. For Banner's arrest, but it's in the air. Stark Relief Foundation. Yeah, he low key should be arrested for all that. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people died because of that. Until we can find Ultron, I don't have a lot else to offer. Neither do we. Alright, well, the Avengers took their first L. I mean, they, they take an L, a big, a bigger L later on, but... This is their first one, technically. Safe house. Okay. All right, took him to Kansas, where nobody fucking lives. So no one's gonna find him here. But technically, okay, it doesn't matter where they are because if they have like any connection to the internet, can't Ultron just find it and then just go there and kill him? Honey, mom. Hi. Company. Sorry, didn't call ahead. Oh. He does have he does have a girlfriend. Gentlemen, this is Laura. I know all your names. <laughs> yeah, she probably knows all about them. Dude, if I was in the Avengers, I'd tell my wife everything. Or I'd tell my girlfriend everything. Imagine Thor just grabs her by the back of her head and he's like what is this? Because he doesn't know what a fucking kid is. <laughs> Alright, later Thor. Kind of needed you, but... Alright, go do your thing, I guess. Nothing. Can't even feel the difference. If they're sleeping here, some of them are going to have to double up. <laughs> I'll sleep with Natasha. I'll, I'll, I'll take that one for the team. Don't worry, guys. I got a banner, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you are so cute. Adam, a banner? I'll explain when you're older. Hawkeye. Oh, okay. Yeah, she saw that shit right away. They carry a big damn stick. And that took a serious hit. Someone's gonna have to teach him some manners. And that's someone being you. No, nah, that's Tony, what the fuck? <laughs> but I see those guys. Those... No, she, no, she wants to fuck Cap. She looked right at Cap and said, You're fighting along these gods. These Greek gods. Sculpted by Michelangelo. As she was looking at Cap. <laughs> she was looking at Cap and just thinking like, Who the fuck sculpted this man? I did realize you were waiting. I would have joined you, but... Uh... It didn't seem like the right time. They used up all the hot water. Banner. Yeah, you showed it. Banner, you gotta get your banner. Please. Please do it for me, please. I can't ever. I can't have this. Kids. Do the math. I physically can't. Neither can I. I mean, he's not wrong. Like, he's just afraid that he'll, like, accidentally, you know, turn to the Hulk and hurt her. It's like, I can't, I get it. You know, that that's really noble of him to do, honestly. Really responsible and noble. Almost, almost as, like, noble and responsible and honest as Captain America, honestly. Almost. Almost. Even killing. Mm. 
You still think you're the only monster on the team? Physically, yes. Emotionally, no. <laughs> you're all fucked up. <laughs> you're all more fucked up than me. <laughs> Emotionally wise. I don't know what the Maximoff kid showed him. Earth's mightiest heroes. Pulled us apart like cotton candy. Bro, with those arms, Cap could probably just take this log and just like, doing research. That would affect the team. That would end the team. Isn't that the mission? Isn't that the why we fight? So we can end the fight? So we get to go home? Oh, he fucking did it. Mr. Stark, uh, Clint said you wouldn't mind, but our tractor doesn't seem to want to start at all. I thought yeah, maybe I'll you might... Kick. Kick from my pile. <laughs> okay, I mean... Tony has a point, but Cap's just, like, too good of a guy. You know, he just doesn't want to, like, accidentally have people die, so, like... I get it. Tell me everything. What ails you? Do me a favor. Ooh. I get it. Maria Hill called you, right? Was she ever not working for you? Artificial intelligence. Didn't this fool go like to Europe or some shit from Winter Soldier? It's about we skip to the part where you're useful. Look me in the eye and tell me you're going to shut him down. You're not the director of me. Uh, I'm fucking trying to. I was shown. No, you. It wasn't a nightmare. It was my legacy. <sighs> The end of the path I started us on. You come up with some pretty impressive inventions, Tony. War isn't one of them. Okay, so Tony, Tony wants to save. Wants to. He wanted to create Ultron because he was afraid he wouldn't be, you know, good enough himself to save them. If like the world was invaded again, he feels like he, you know, he could fail because he's not ready yet to fight them in. You know, whatever. And so that's why he made Ultron the help. But obviously it didn't really go his way, so. Party's unknown. We have an ally? Ultron's got an enemy. That's not the same thing. Still, I'd pay folding money to know who it is. I might need to. Mm-hmm, okay. So Ultron wants the nuclear codes, and someone else on the other side... Is just changing them constantly. That's actually really smart, you know? Don't make the codes one consistent code. Just have them change, like, every X amount of time, you know? So that way no one knows them at any given time. Dude, it's probably that dude from Winter Soldier, the German scientist AI guy who's doing that. He could probably take out Ultron. Nah, probably not. He's kind of weak. <laughs> but why don't they just turn him on and be like, hey, what the fuck can you do about this? Steve doesn't like that kind of talk. You know what, Romanov? So what does he want? To become better. Better than us. He keeps building bodies. Person bodies. The human form is not efficient, biologically speaking. We're outmoded. But he keeps coming back to it. We need to program him to protect the human race. He amazingly failed. They don't need to be protected. They need to evolve. Mm-hmm. Okay, he looked at he looked at the butterfly, came to that conclusion. Has anyone That's been cool. in contact with Helen Cho? Oh, okay. Well, now they know Helen's fucked. The vibranium atoms aren't just compatible with the tissue cells; they're binding them. And Shield never even the thought most versatile them. substance on the planet, and they used it to make a frisbee. <laughs> Typical of humans, they yeah. scratch the surface and never think. Let's see. To look within. Okay. So there was a stone inside the scepter. Okay, that makes sense. Be more powerful than any of us. Maybe all of us. An android designed by a robot. You know, I really miss the days when the weirdest thing science ever created was me. True. I'll drop banner off at the time. <laughs> Facts. I'm gonna finish reflooring that sunroom as soon as I get back. Yeah, and then you'll find another part of the house to tear apart. No. Last part. Yeah, it's literally my dad right there. My dad says that shit all the time. This is it. The water of science. In every realm, there's a reflection. If the water spirits accept me, I can return to my dream and find what I missed. Okay, dude. Man who entered that. I love how Thor is really proactive on figuring out the fuck. Like, just finding more about this dr goddamn dream. Shit really bothered him that much. <laughs> Yeah. 
Smart. Oh, well, I'm decrypting nuclear codes and you don't want me to. <laughs> Tony's probably the biggest threat to this world. If he, if Tony, if Tony just wanted to take out the human race, he, he could easily, easily. Extinction. This is Power Stone. This is uh, Reality. Space Stone. Okay, we got four stones. Okay. Soon. How soon? I'm not being pushy. We're imprinting a physical brain. There are no shortcuts. Okay. Even through magic gem. Oh, yep. She just saw Ultron's fucking plans. Because now that's a... Like she said, it's a physical body. She can read it. Dozen extinction level events before even the dinosaurs got theirs. When the Earth starts to settle, God throws a stone at it. And believe me, he's winding up. Yeah, but you're not God, buddy. There's no room for the weak. And who decides who's weak? Ooh. Life. Okay, okay. I wanted to just turn that, that mind control shit off. There's incoming. The Quinjet. We have to move. That's not a problem. Uh. Um. <laughs> Wax. God, wait, guys! Yep. I tried... Okay, so Ultron wants to just wipe out the entire, like, world and just... E extinction for every living fucking thing. Or whatever. This fool literally went through the internet for, like, a minute and just decided the human race needs to be wiped out. <laughs> Not just the Avengers, like, the entire human race. Its power is uncontainable. You can't just blow it up. You have to get the cradle to Stark. Mm -hmm. First, I have to find it. Go. Okay. Oh, I really hope Helen doesn't die. I really liked her. If the truck crashes, the gem could level the city. We need to draw out Ultron. He's like, goddamn Avengers. They just have too much grit. Well, he's definitely unhappy. I'm gonna try and keep him that way. You're not a match for him, Cap. Thanks, Bart. Yeah, no shit. I mean, Cap's a super soldier, but Cap's basically just... He's basically a fucking Terminator himself. It's just a human. <laughs> But no, like Ultron's literally like an Iron Man suit, so you know what's in that cradle? The power to make real change. And that terrifies you. I wouldn't call it a comfort. Well, how is the human race supposed to evolve if you just wipe out everyone? Like, what's the world supposed to be then? There's no real life. It's just gonna be artificial life. Okay, okay, I'll go with that. For just, for just because it's my girlfriend, I'll allow that. Hey, package is airborne. I have a clean shot. Negative, I am still in the truck. The hell, you just be right. Yeah, don't blow that shit up. How do you want me to take it? Mm, you might wish you hadn't asked that. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, okay. Ultron versus the dude of super speed or Pietro. Who I feel like he's too fast for Ultron. I mean, but also Ultron's an AI, so an AI. Okay, you know like when like how they nerf like people with super speed in movies, you know, like, oh, I'm fighting a guy with super speed. Okay, I'm just gonna time it. When he runs by me, I'm just gonna trip him, you know, nerf him like that kinda. Like Ultron could actually possibly do that like that that makes sense for ultron because he he's literally an ai he could time that but like a person timing that no shot Go! you have eyes on that Go! Dude, ha Civilian. damn that was a hard choice for hawkeye stark anyone on comms 
Ultron can't tell the difference between saving the world and destroying it. Yeah, that's where Ultron's flawed. Where do you think he gets that? Not Tony, no. Because, no, there's a difference. I can work on tissue degeneration if you could fry whatever operational system Cho implanted. Yeah, about that. Tony? No. Tony, does, he doesn't want to destroy it. Our allies went underground. Right? Scattered. Oh, okay. Him, but not his protocols. He didn't even know he was in there until I pieced him together. So. Okay, so Jarvis just dipped out. So Ultron thought he was out of the way. Thing. No, of course not. I want to help you put Jarvis in this thing. <laughs> right on my feet. I mean, as long as you know Jarvis has like that integrity of he's not going to go rogue. I'm, I'm in a loop. I'm uh, caught in a time loop. This is exactly where it all went I know, wrong. I know. I know what everyone's going to say, but they're already saying it. We're mad scientists. I mean... We've got to own it. Uh, this is a tough choice. Because it's like, if it goes wrong, then you're even double fucked. And you're, you know, then you're really out of options. Like, if, if, it, go, if it goes well, then yeah, you have a really good chance of beating Ultron. Because then you got an AI who is actually, you know, a good guy, so. I'm sure you'd wake up. I hoped you would. I wanted to show you. I don't have anyone else. You know, for being an AI, Ultron, he shows emotions a lot more than I feel like he should. Like, he got mad at, um, that one dude, he cut his arm off, and now he, he wants to, he wants to show not this or whatever. What doesn't kill me? Oh. Just makes me stronger. All right. And he got another upgrade. Because he couldn't get the last body, so... All right. Well, I hope this goes well. So... And she's trying to contact him. Uh, Morse code. I think that was Morse code because she was clear. I don't know. Oh, we're way past that. I could choke the life out of you and never change it. Yeah, but she just touches you and then. No, no. Yeah, he just turned everything off and you couldn't do shit about it. Oh, that was sick. The show he was in slow motion. I'm rerouting the upload. I mean, okay, Cap doesn't. Okay, I totally get both sides here. I do. Go ahead, piss me off. Oh. I do. I get. I get both sides. Cap doesn't want it to go wrong, but Tony has faith. Jarvis will come through, and Thor's here. What is? Wait, what's, what the fuck is Thor doing? Okay, I guess Thor wants this shit to happen. He just gave it. He just gave it power. Okay. Hey. He looks like he looks like one of those muscle diagrams. What's up, buddy? You gonna kill us or no oh, fuck? Okay, do you actually value life? Like is this the Jarvis we know or Okay, whatever you do, just do not look on the internet. Do not do not go on the internet. I mean, it's Jarvis. He already has, so. Center is that. What the gem? It's the mind stone. Okay. It's one of the six infinity stones, the greatest power in the universe, unparalleled in its. Okay, okay. I know who this guy is. This is the dude at the end of Infinity War that Thanos, fucking. Okay, no. Wanda killed this guy to to stop Thanos from getting the stone, and Thanos just rewinded the time and ripped that shit out of his face. That's who this guy is. Okay. You're not. I'm not Alfred. Okay, and he's powered by the Mind Stone. I'm not Jarvis. I am. I am. Oh, okay. I am. <laughs> Who are you? I am. Saw annihilation. <laughs> Look again. No, 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 Wanda. You saw, you saw Ultron connected to this body. That's what it was. Are you? On our side. 
Yeah, are you? I don't think it's that simple. Okay. Yeah, I can't, I, it's a yes or no question, buddy. I am on the side of life. Oh, okay. Ultron isn't. Cool. If you're the monster that Ultron made you to be, what will you do? Probably can't do shit about it. <laughs> I'll kill you, but I'll try. We have to act now. And not one of us can do it without the others. Okay. Maybe I think I, I trust him. Well, I mean, like, he's he's good in the other movies, so, like... And not what you intended. So there may be no way to make you trust me. But we need to go. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he's good. Alright. All doubts, gone. I mean, okay, like, I knew he was good, because, like, in the other movies, he was on their side. But... I'm trying to watch this, like, pretending I haven't seen those other movies. Kind of, because it's like, you know, I'm trying to watch it for the first time. Well, I mean, I, I am watching this for the first time, but it's like without the other movies influencing this, so. Ooh, Friday. Okay, he just replaces Jarvis. I mean, kind of has to. Ultron thinks we're monsters. That we're what's wrong with the world. This isn't just about beating him. It's about whether he's right. Damn. Who gives the better speeches? Captain America or Optimus Prime? I've seen that fucking tweet so many times. That like the like there's literally so many Twitter threads of people just debating that. <laughs> I mean like yeah, Cap's speeches are pretty damn compelling. Like, I saw one thing, someone, someone refuting um, the argument was like, Optimus Prime could literally, literally motivate a JV basketball team to be an NBA team. I'm <laughs> you got more than you. Uh, have you been juicing? <laughs> yeah. This is how you end, Tony. This is peace in my time. All right, what is that? Like his own nuke? Ultra. Hey, okay, let's, let's fucking go. I saw the subtitle. His name's oh my vision. Okay, yeah, the subtitle said his name was Vision. So I guess that's I guess his name's Vision because he's Ultron's vision. Dude, look how OP right. this fucking dude is. Like they literally have to nerf him because he's so OP. Like not really nerf him because he's so fast, but. Just make him less involved, be I think. We gotta move. Okay, so You're not gonna turn green. Yeah, well, I've got a compelling reason not to lose my car. Bro, you better turn green right now. No, you need to turn green right now. This is this is the moment to turn green. <laughs> oh, okay, yep. But I need the other guy. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. It's like, um, and like his own Hulk movie, he like falls out of the plane or something as Bruce, and then he lands on the ground as like the Hulk. But, yeah, okay, yeah, Ultron's vision is to just make the world just all machine, ru like ruling the world or whatever, to have peace because you can just control every, control all AI and give them the same morals or whatever. And so I guess he's gonna take, yeah, he's gonna take the city and, Rise in and just drop it. Yeah, he's he's lifting an entire city. Like, even just a fucking, like, 10 kilometer... I mean, that's, 10 kilometers is a lot. But a 10, 10 kilometer asteroid would wipe out the Earth. So, I'm pretty sure this city's larger than 10 kilometers. It's probably not lifting up the entire city, but... Like, more than 10 kilometers wide worth. Art. You get hurt, hurt him back. Get killed. Walk it off. Okay. Yeah, that's some fucking World War One shit he just said. That yeah, World War One mindset. Go, go, go. Right. Hey, hey, you okay? Wanda, Wanda, this is not the time. You need to go out there and fucking fight. If you go out there, you fight, and you fight to kill. Hell yeah. Stay in here, you're good. I'll send your brother to come find you, but if you step out that door, 
You are an Avenger. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. That was a better. That was better than a cap speech. That was way better. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck us. <laughs> What are you gonna do Just now? Oh my god, this fool really just to the next one with one arm. I mean, he's, he, I mean, yeah, he has the strength to do it, so. Alright, we're all clear here. We are not clear! <laughs> we are very not clear! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking right, coming Christ. through you. Stop! <laughs> Last I saw him, an Ultron was sitting on him. I, yeah, he'll be missed. That quick little oh bastard. God. I miss him already. Yeah. Oh my Hawk, I was like, yeah, no one will know if I kill him. Right. Okay, anyway. I asked in my Winter Soldier video who would win, Batman or Captain America. And you guys said if Batman has time to prepare, he's waxing Cap. Which, okay, ma makes sense. Uh, I mean, yeah. But if they just, like, randomly met and no idea who each... Oh, oh shit, he got hit. What the fuck, dude? I mean, it's just a graze, but... But, um... Yeah, if they just randomly met, Cap is waxing Batman, which, okay, I agree with both of those. Okay. The anti-gravs are rigged to flip. Touch them, they'll go full reverse thrust. The city's not coming down slow. Well, as far as vibranium, if I get Thor to hit it, it'll crack. Okay, okay, but who would win... Who would win then, okay? Batman or Iron Man? Now, they're both billionaires... You know, Iron Man obviously is way more advanced in technology, but it seems like if Batman has time to prepare, then who wins? Okay, let's just say Batman has time to prepare. He has he has a full week or as much time as he needs. Then who wins? Because I mean they're both super geniuses, so and also who's smarter? Like just IQ wise. There's worse ways to go. Where else am I gonna get a view like this? From an airplane? Glad you like the view, Romanoff. Oh, is Nick Fury coming through? Oh, let's fucking go, Nick. Let's go, Nicholas. Nice, Ray. Pulled her out of mothballs with a couple of old friends. She's dusty, but she'll do. Fury, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Ooh, you kiss your mother with that mouth? Yeah, wait, that was the first time Cap's ever cussed. No, nah, I think he did in his movie, but. Like his first movie, but yeah. Take him out. Wait, was that the guy from Winter Soldier who refused to um, launch the code on the computer? That'd be that'd be cool if it was. He got my boy got a promotion for telling that that one guy to go fuck himself. Drop this rock a little early, and it's still billions dead. Even you can't stop that. I am Thor, son of Odin, and as long as there is life in my breast, I am. I'm running out of things to say. Are you ready? <laughs> Ooh, oh, vision with the hammer. Yeah, he he can pick it up. So it's terribly well balanced. You good? Yeah. Romanoff, you and Banner better not be playing hide the zucchini. <laughs> oh my fucking god, Tony! Oh my god. I did, yeah, and zucchinis are also green, bro. Come on, Tony. I'm I'm surprised they got away with that joke. This is the best I can do. Yeah, like, it kind of sucks. All of you against all of me. How can you possibly hope to stop? Bro, what if I just turn your power off? <laughs> like, what ultra? What happens when you run out of batteries? Th like your battery dies, then what? You know? I guess you could charge, but like. Just destroy all the chargers. They'll die within a week. <laughs> right, there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> or just turn off power in the entire... Destroy every source of power in the entire world for, like, a full week. Yeah, what the fuck are you going to do now, Ultron? What are you going to do now? Huh? I mean, he's made out of, I'm pretty sure this part of him is made out of vibranium. But, you know. You know, with the benefit of hindsight. 
<laughs> yeah, Hulk ripped, dude. Okay, I get Ultron can just make a new body, but why doesn't the Hulk just rip this body apart? And then that's gonna install, you know, that would make, that would give him some time to do whatever else they need to do. Oh yeah, he's like, what the fuck is this division? The dining room. Oh wow, nice fucking product wall. placement nice with this car. Uh, yeah, 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 no, yeah. another logo. Right Dude, I saw like five logo shots. Oh, six oh, logo back. shots right there. <laughs> Where the fuck would they even get a Mercedes in this, this situation? Like, I'm pretty sure that was Mercedes. I don't know shit about cars, but it might be Audi. I don't know. Audi. You know, those six product shots right there, logo shots, probably funded half this movie. <laughs> oh, you gotta do it, Hawkeye. You gotta do it. You know, the fact that he even... He even hesitated to save that person. You know, he thought about it for half a second. That is exactly why he couldn't lift the hammer. Cap would not. No, Cap would have just ran immediately. Dude, how how is Thor even worthy to hold the hammer? Like, I get. I guess like. Ooh. Okay. Like, I guess he, Thor's just automatically worthy because, you know, it was given to him. But Thor's been, Thor's, Thor's fucked up a lot, if I'm being honest. He died. Okay, yeah, that's why he's not in the other movies. <laughs> okay, because, like, yeah, I saw, like, oh, Haw I thought for a second, oh, Hawkeye might die here. And then I was like, wait, but he's in the other movies. He was, no, he was, he wasn't in Infinity War, I don't think. But he was in Endgame, so I was like, no, he doesn't die here. And then I saw, yeah. And that's why he wasn't in the other movies. <laughs> oh. R.P. Pietro. Yeah, and Wanda felt his death immediately. Wanda felt it, and now Wanda's about to just go off. I don't know if she saw it, but it was like she could just feel it happen. Like, like you know, in Star Wars, when all the Jedi got mogged, Yoda just felt that through the Force. That's kind of what happened. So... Yeah, Pietro, he, it, yeah, he, he sacrificed himself to take the bullets. Like, yeah, he probably could have beaten the bullets, but, you know, he did it intentionally to save Hawkeye. Damn. It's noble. You know what? Just for that, you know what? Pietro's probably worthy to wield the hammer just for that decision because he didn't even think about it. He just did it. Wait, so is Ultron dead now? Like, his physical body's probably dead, but he's still an AI. Couldn't he just hop to another body somewhere? Or just, like, a computer? <laughs> like, couldn't his AI just... Just technically live on my phone? Oh, fuck. Yeah, this shit got very high. Tony, you, you literally need Superman to stop this. No! Okay, or you could do that and just blow it up because they got all the people off. But I feel like that's still pretty damn bad. I guess if it falls in the ocean or whatever. 
Hey, big guy. You did it. The job's finished. Now I need you to turn this bird around, okay? Yeah, where the fuck is Hulk going? I can't track you in stealth mode. Okay. So help me out. I need you. <laughs> he said bye. <laughs> Uh, there's a whole okay. Oh, okay, so is Bruce like a little conscious right now as the Hulk realizing I'm not good for her? I, like, I will hurt her if I stay. You know, he's like, I can't, I'm gonna hurt everyone I know and love. Like, he's realizing that as the Hulk. But a thing isn't beautiful because it lasts, because it happened. It's a privilege to be among them. Oh, yeah. You're unbearably naive. Well. I was born yesterday. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That, that was a good line. Great moment. And he just destroyed Ultron. I feel like Ultron was afraid because he was just... And, like, Vision did say he was in pain. I feel like he was just so desperate to have peace. That's why he was in pain. And, you know, he was afraid that he wouldn't succeed. Or, you know. And he made it home. New Avengers facility, upstate New York. Okay, how, why is he in this movie, but Jane's not? Like, what the fuck happened to Natalie Foreman? She didn't get a contract extension? Like, what's going on? Though it doesn't count. No, it's not like a person lifting the hammer. Right. Different yeah. For us. Nice guy. Oh, they're talking about the hammer. He can wield the hammer. He can keep the mind still. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. If but he... if you put the hammer in an elevator, it would still go up. <laughs> Elevator's not worthy. I'm gonna miss these little. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Then what would happen? If you don't leave. If yeah, if you put it in an elevator, would the elevator go up? The elevator's not a living object, so it wouldn't matter. It would just go up. Basically, if you can wield the hammer. I trust you, is what they just said, so. I will miss you, Tony. Yeah? Well, it's time for me to tap out. Uh, that's not a Tesla. What, what What's going on? Tony's the original Elon Musk. <laughs> Family. Stability. Guy you know, this is probably where Elon Musk got the idea for auto drive. Right there. It's probably, it's probably exactly why he did it. Autopilot, right here. Got the idea. I'm home. In the barracks. <laughs> Alright. So we got three new recruits now. Officially on the team. Oh, we got four. Never mind. Would have had five. <laughs> Avengers! Well, was he going to say assemble right there? Okay, well, anyway, that was Avengers Age of Ultron. All right, well, that was Age of Ultron. You know, I really liked it. I thought that was a really good movie, you know? Oh, okay, now, like, I've seen, technically seen every Avengers movie now. But, okay, last time I saw Infinity War was, like, 2018 in the theaters, and the last time I saw Endgame was in the theaters in 2019. And so, I've only seen them one time. But, technically, I've seen every Avengers movie now. So, I'm still going to say Infinity War is better. This one was definitely better than the last one. And if you're wondering, okay, I did do Phase 1 of all the MCU movies. But, those videos were horrendous. I had to take them down. I had to. I had to. Like, I'm sorry. And then also the Avengers movie. That one, that one wasn't that bad. But, it got blocked. I re-uploaded it. Got blocked again. Re-uploaded it. Got blocked. It got a copyright strike on my channel. So, I said, okay, this video is not going up. So, and I don't have it to even post on Patreon, sadly. So, okay. So, now I'm kind of curious about my Batman versus Iron Man question a little bit. Like, I already asked. I already kind of explained that one. But now, I'm kind of curious about who would, who would win, okay? Avengers or the Justice League? Okay, I I got Justice League if I'm being honest, because I feel like Superman could just I feel like Superman alone could wipe them all out. Not like movie Superman. It's kind of weak, honestly. Like like comic book Superman could wipe out all of them. 
you know like well superman he's like cap his morals won't allow him to do it but take the fuck that take away the morals like he has to okay they just they just fucking killed lois lane so like he's just you know morals gone completely okay superman is trying to kill them who wins so okay anyway let's talk about this movie okay so i like how we got uh four new avengers now in this one we're building up building up you know um i am kind of familiar with them because i saw the other two movies i mean that doesn't really mean i'm familiar with them but like i just i recognize who they are basically like i'm not they're not this isn't the first time i'm seeing this seeing them on screen if that makes sense so and like i know their names and everything and but vision we got his backstory we got his introduction how he was born and okay so he had the same voice as jarvis so was that the same actor playing him too like did it did he finally get some fucking screen time where he can show his face did he say like dude fuck fuck just being in this booth put me on screen coach put me in coach is that what he did but okay anyway um okay ultron as a villain i really like them like i thought okay his motivation was valid because he just wanted peace that's all he wanted but then again his solution and way of going about it not that great so like he he just wanted world peace that's it but it, to him world peace is just wiping out everyone on earth and just taking out all life completely so like yeah you're gonna have peace but then you're gonna have nothing there so by default yeah you'll have peace and honestly ultron had a lot of good quotes in this movie like okay i don't i don't remember like word for word but he was like someone said something about like oh we already have peace or whatever like thor i think thor said it and then ultron was like you're confusing peace for quiet and i was like okay shit that that's pretty true you know just because everyone's quiet doesn't mean it's peaceful you know i could still hate someone and just not say anything and i just plot something later on you know like yeah but ultron had a lot of good quotes in this movie a lot of tweetable shit honestly now i'm gonna check some of my friends captions to see if they stole any from this movie because a lot of them sounded kind of familiar like i might have heard them before yeah i really liked ultron honestly one of, he's definitely my favorite villain in the mcu so far okay so far of every movie we watched on this channel overall i fucking love thanos if i'm being honest i love them but we're gonna wait till we get to that movie then i'll compare then i'll think about comparing him to ultron because i'll be i'll see those movies for a second time and i'll have it fresh in my head then i'll give it a fresh comparison but i don't really know what happened with the hulk at the end i guess he just dipped out because he was afraid he'd hurt everyone so he was just like um i'm a liability to everyone so i gotta go i don't, don't know where he's going so and then i'm really sad that wanda's brother had to die pietro i'm really sad because like i i liked him you know thought he had a good heart sacrificed himself to save hawkeye very good guy very good guy but that does explain why he wasn't in the other movies <laughs> so i i was wondering that from i was like because when we, i first saw him i was like okay well i know wanda's in the other movies but this guy's not so something happens you know i but yeah you know, I thought it was pretty cool how uh, Vision just picks up the hammer, like not even knowing that like you have to be worthy to pick it up. He's just like, OK, we got to go. Here's your fucking hammer, buddy. And, you know, and then like that's a that's a great way of showing like every like showing the audience and the Avengers that no, he's a trustworthy guy, because as soon as he picked it up, all their doubts just went away. Every single doubt just went away. So that was a really that was really clever. That was really clever, honestly. And like okay in the comedy in this movie i thought it was really good there was there were some lines that were pretty corny but overall a lot of it was really well timed really you know like appropriate jokes for the situation you know it's not like star wars where they're like like the sequel star wars the disney sequels where they're just forcing jokes that don't need to be there i know i compare every movie to fucking star wars but it's just like see star wars is just that good because i can take like a movie that's really good compare it to star wars and explain why it's really good and then i can take a movie then i could take something okay this movie does this really well and star wars did this really bad you know but okay anyway but yeah those are, that's just my thoughts on the movie so comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments what was it like watching this in theaters and
If you liked the video, like the video. Thanks for watching.